Hello guys, this is Jack and I'm a WN Math tutor for the Jack Tutoring. In the previous video, we were talking about the analog circuit. And now, in this video, we talk more about the analog signal. So before going too much into the detail, we should talk a bit about what a signal is. The signal in general are the time varying quantity which conveys some sort of information. In electrical engineering, the quantity we mention is the time varying voltage or current. So when we talk about a signal, just think of them as a voltage that is changing over the time. The signal are usually passed between the devices in order to send and receive the data or information. Um, which might be the vid video, audio, or some sort of encoded data. Usually the signal are transmitted through the wires, but it could also pass through the air by the radio frequency wave. The audio signal, for example, might be transferred between your computer audio car and the speakers, while the data signal might be passed to the air between a tablet, iPad, and a Wi-Fi router. So now, um, we know what the signal is. Um, we can talk about the analog signal. Because a signal varies over the time, it's really helpful for us to plot the signal on the graph to see where the signal is changing with respect to the time. So for example, we have the, this graph of um, the analog signal. It can be think of it as a side wave and the maximum voltage uh, of the signal is 30 volt and the minimum is negative 30 volt. So um, the way that we can know that this signal is analog by looking at the graph because the signal is smooth and continuous. Comparing to digital circuits, the signal of the digital circuit would be something like uh, this, here, here, and then here. You see that the signal is discrete, so either it's 30 volt or the other negative 30 volt which is here and here there's nothing in between so um, an example of the analog signal would be some video and audio transmission um, or the record uh, the recorded data using the analog signal and the analog signal is, is, is really um, sensitive to the surrounding. As I mentioned in, in the other video, if you have some noise or small changes in the voltage uh, input, then the output would be affected a lot. So when using the analog circuits or analog signal, we have to really, really um, be careful to decide the circuit so that um, the input and output can be optimal. So uh, that's all about the analog signal and um, please look forward for the um, another video for discrete uh, signal or digital circuit signal. Thanks for watching.